Okay, in this video we are going to look at how to draw custom images. Uh, I've gone to the microbit website, python.microbit.org, uh, and the code that greets me here is the default code that loads up. I, am, I don't want that. I'm going to get rid of that to start off with. Boom, it's gone. I've got to make sure that I keep this line in here, though, from microbit import star. We've got to have that line, otherwise our code will not work. Okay, now... If you have a look at your microbits, you will notice that there are uh, 25 lights on the front. There's five rows of five lights. Okay. When we create our own images, we can specify how bright we want those lights to be. They can either be zero, which is completely off, or they can be nine, which is completely on, and they could be any number in between. Okay. So. Um, First of all, we've got to give our image a name. Um, I am going to call mine example. Okay, so I'm going to say example equals and then image with a capital I, open brackets, open quote marks, and then I just have to put in the numbers that I want to do. So just to show you what the uh, brightness might look like, I'm going to say uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll put a colon at the end of a row there, okay, and uh, a quote mark, okay. Now I'm going to make sure that everything lines up nicely, and now I'm going to, uh, let's do um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, so we're going to have like, I don't know what this is going to look like, but it's going to be, it should be a pretty pattern anyway. I'm going to do nine, eight, seven, uh, six, five, and uh, four, three, two, one, not. Uh, and then for my last row, uh, I'll I'll go crazy. I'll have them all on nine, 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 nine. So I should get some colours fading from nothing all the way up to the top here, and then back down again, um, and then all on at the bottom. Now the last thing I need to do is make sure that I close those brackets. OK, so at the moment we've defined our image, but we haven't actually displayed it yet. In order to display it on the micro bit, we have to use this code display display dot show um, and then the name that we gave it. I gave mine the name example. OK, so I'm going to put example in there. OK, so now that that's all um, finished and coded, I can download the program. Once I have downloaded it, I can drag it onto my micro bit. And then once that has finished flashing, hopefully we should get some sort of pretty image. So it's a weird looking image, uh, but hopefully you can you can see how the lights have lit up. You'll notice on uh, on this side uh, it's starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, and then on the next line uh, all the way up to 9, and then back down again, uh, and then we've got them all on at the at the bottom. Okay, so just to uh, maybe do something a little bit um, a little bit less crazy, if I wanted to create an arrow, for instance, I could do something like this. Instead of calling it example, I'm going to call it left arrow. Okay, now I need to think about what my um, image is going to look like. And sometimes you might want to sketch things out on paper. Um, so I'm going to start off just with all noughts and then have a think about what an arrow is going to look like. Well, if it's pointing to the left, then obviously there needs to be a pointy bit in the middle there. So I'll make that one 9, and that one can be 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 9. And then if we want... Okay, I've got the basic shape of an arrow there, but I'm also going to have uh, a sort of a little shadow behind uh, the arrow as well. So I'm going to put a 5 in there. Uh, I'm going to put a 5 in there. Uh, let's maybe finish it off with a with a two uh, right at the bottom there. So I'll put a five in there and a two in there 
and a 5 in there and a 2 in there. Got to make sure because I changed the name of it to left arrow I'm going to put uh, left arrow in there okay download that and then drag it onto my micro bit down here wait for it to finish flashing and then we shall see what my amazing looking left arrow looks like and there it is so you can oh, you can't really see because of the light there uh, if I hold it back here maybe uh, you can just see there's the uh, it, it's pointing trust me it's pointing to the left okay so um, that's how you create custom images use this to guide you okay you can type out this code you can use my left arrow example or you can just create your own one from scratch see if you can create a uh, uh, maybe an up arrow or a dinosaur or a flag or I don't know anything that you can do with 25 little lights